but I wasn't trying to be a hater. You know, when I just did that video, I wear my hat and my sunglasses because it was cold out, so I want to make another video here. You know, Derek Wolf, the Colorado uh, mountain lion hunt. You know, I was like, shit, dude, you should be the guy who brings the notoriety, does this one dog class. You know, I don't need to compete against him. I think it'd be cool if I could compete against him, but Jake Paul, after he fights Tommy Fury, you want to go uh, race your old, uh, you know, Ohio buddy, an ex-NFL player through Bozeman and uh, down at Jackson Hole, you know, through Yellowstone and uh, Teton National Park in a big, you know, uh, like a, a foot race, basically. You know, he's a big bone guy. Uh, you know, he'd probably be someone that's why, like, am I that guy? I probably might be able to beat him at that race. He's not some, uh, you know, five ton, five ten guy from Kenya who can run like a marathon runner. Uh, you know what I mean? He's a big muscular dude, sort of like me. But, uh, and I'm not as big as Sam, but you know what I'm trying to say, like, uh, it, I think the one dog class race really can do a lot of great for the sport and for, you know, not just the sport, but the tradition, the legacy of hunting, because it, it really is about not just hunting for trophies, hunting for, you know, Instagram pics, but for hunting for living off of the land and, you know, reprogramming that into society and culture and using that sort of a society and culture language, you know, for all of the different, you know, nations and all the different places all across the world, you know, and, and instilling those values, you know, that independence, that self-reliance, doing it yourself. And uh, that's what that one dog class is about, the race, the competition idea, leveraging spaces like national parks, state parks, and, and you know, the competitors be going on, you know, multi-day trips, whether it's in the winter, or, you know, whether they're on their own foot, whether they're on skis or something else, with their own power with just the one dog. And during those competitions, maybe they would have some obstacles or some fitness challenges along the way, but they would only be able to eat for uh, their own sustenance, for their energy, you know, the food that they would be eating out there is the stuff that they harvested, the stuff that they hunted. So, um, you know, seeing someone out there hunting is great, I think. Uh, you know what I mean? When we see Derek Wolf hunt out there, but obviously, you know, the, the ethical implications of a hunt potentially, you know, especially just how much exposure it got, you know, is it someone who's just doing it for the clicks? Uh, is it good or bad for hunting? You know, great question. I don't know if I have the answer. You know, I've thought about mountain lion. I've seen mountain lions myself. I've seen one before. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a huge different thing to hunt it with hounds versus not hunting it. And that's sort of like the dog mushing thing. The one dog class, it's different doing it with just one dog.